Hey you guys, I hope you're having a great day today. I wanted to talk about rapture typology because there are a lot of mockers coming against the pre-tribulation rapture, unfortunately, and I want you guys to stay encouraged. So the rapture or harpazo is detailed in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17, 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 53. These are verses we know very well. I will post them in the description box, but I will also post other verses that speak about the rapture, such as Titus 2.13, John 14.1-6, some of the Psalms, and Song of Solomon 2.10-13. There are many others, so you guys, it's not going to be an all-inclusive list. Um, And there's also lots of typology of the rapture throughout the Bible, but I'm just going to be talking about five of them for you today. So the first one is one of my favorites. It is Enoch and the flood. Genesis 5.24 says that Enoch walked with God and then was no more because God took him away. This was pre-flood. So Noah's family is actually a picture of the Israelites being preserved during the tribulation period. And Enoch is a type of the church taken pre-flood just as we will be taken pre-trib. Number two is Lot. In Genesis 19, Lot is a type of the church taken out of Sodom and Gomorrah prior to the wrath of God being poured out onto those cities. Lot even lingered, it says, in verse 16. But the angels took hold of him to bring him out. This could also be a type of carnal Christian who has ties to this world, showing that all believers in Christ will be raptured There is no such thing as a partial rapture, you guys. That's not biblical. Number three, Joseph and his Gentile bride. In Genesis 41, Joseph takes a Gentile bride, and then the seven-year famine hits. So Joseph's family is actually a type of the Israelites coming to Joseph, who's a type of Jesus, for food during the seven-year famine. Just as Jesus will protect the Israelites during the tribulation because they will turn to him for salvation. The Gentile bride here is a type of the church and not mentioned at all during the seven year famine just because we also, the Gentile bride of Christ, will not be here during the seven year tribulation. Number four is Rahab. Rahab is a Gentile prostitute. It cannot get any more obvious than that. In Joshua 2, Rahab trusts God and ties a scarlet cord, a symbol of Jesus' blood, out of her window. She and her family are saved when Jericho is destroyed. Here, Jericho is a type of the world, and Rahab is a type of the church, saved from the wrath of God. Number five is Daniel, another one of my favorites. In Daniel 3, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego uh, refused to bow down to the golden image that King Nebuchadnezzar set up. So King Nebuchadnezzar is actually a type of the Antichrist. These three were thrown into the furnace, which was heated up seven times hotter than usual. Seven times more, seven-year tribulation. Jesus protects them in the furnace, and they walk out alive. So these three, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, are actually a type of the Israelites protected by God during the tribulation period. Keep in mind, Daniel is not even present for this. So Daniel is a type of the church who was raptured prior to the seven-year trip. This was really quick, just five examples of the pre-tribulation rapture in the Bible. There are many more typologies, but... I just wanted to give you some of these, some of my favorites, as encouragement to you guys. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the clouds very soon. It is a great day to be raptured.